let's do a get ready with me for christmas day i don't know what i'm wearing i'm wearing a jumpsuit that i got from quiz i think last year and i'm doing something with gold like eyeshadow wise but i'm just cleaning my brushes first because they're absolutely bogging hope you all have a happy healthy and safe christmas and here's to 2024 being the best year of all of our lives because my skin is breaking out quite badly again always happens around when i take my period like i get these like spots underneath my skin that are painful and that's usually how i know it's coming like days before and i got this one here which i squeezed the life out of and it never clicked to me that my period will be coming and uh, not to mention it's two weeks early but i prime my lids actually you know what i'm gonna prime my skin using coco gold from the beauty crop just my t-zone kind of Sata was very generous this year, extremely generous. Obviously, Rory was on the good list as always because he's a good boy. So, and apparently I was on the good list as well. Shock horror, me being on the good list. But this isn't going to be as an um depth get ready with me as all my other ones are, just because I'm kind of rushing to get ready when i go off do a little bit of eyeshadow now and then i'll come back when i have some eyeshadow done because as i just mentioned it's not going to be as in-depth but i will be using the manifest palette from be perfect because we're manifesting big things this year in 2024 we're going to manifest the best for ourselves nothing too overboard for the eyeshadow just something basic but colorful because you know me with my colorful eyeshadows i'm going to take a bit of p louise base and cover my spots with it because it's super full coverage and I need all the coverage I can get this day. And then I'll go on to like cream products, foundation, bronzer, stuff like that. Be Perfect Bronzer in the shade Toasted. As always, I fucking love this. I only bought it recently after like debating for literally ages and love it but i'm actually really enjoying doing these types of videos because obviously i used to do a lot of long form content when i was consistently doing youtube this is well before my tiktok time i started doing tiktoks and i was pregnant because i was on the set because at hyperemesis but i had good days and bad days with my hyperemesis and then on my good days i would make videos because i was completely bored but i still was like too sick to go back but then i it kind of calmed down a lot then in my second trimester my first trimester was fucking horrendous literally for the first like i'd say for the first 16 weeks in total obviously apart from week one to week four because i didn't know but from week six to 16 i was literally head in the toilet 24 7 was absolutely so bad but now that that is blended it's foundation time and i want to get more of this even though i've got three bottles of chroma cover i still want more because it's that good and i want to stay stocked up so i'm just dotting this around my face i'm not putting anywhere like around my under eyes where i put concealer because it'll just interfere with the concealer and it'll all look really cakey. So if you're finding that the cream products under your eyes is looking cakey but you are putting foundation under there, try just keeping it to a minimum. Just do like primer and concealer and it might help make a difference because I know everybody's different. Everybody does their makeup differently, which is obviously fine. Everybody has their preferences and how they do their makeup, as do I. But... I did find that when I stopped putting foundation underneath my eyes, my makeup looked a, le lot, le a lot less cakey. But at times it still does because I have extremely oily skin. So I have to matte my skin. I can't wear like a G makeup look because my foundation will literally melt off my face. I have a feeling that 2024 is going to be the best year. I said that about 2020 and then look what happened in 2020. 
we were all in a lockdown for literally months and I could have utilised that time to make TikToks but at that time I wasn't really making makeup TikToks I was posting on Instagram a lot but my Instagram's like dying out because I post on it but and I get like say like 500 profile visits in 28 days but I don't really think people utilize Instagram's full potential and that's why it's one of the hardest platforms to grow on. Sold out by maybe Mitchell. And then I'll blend that with the bottom of my beauty blender. And you can literally see how pigmented that is. I've seen the e.l.f cream blushes that are meant to be a dupe for the rare beauty um cream blushes and i seen michaela like do a video on them and i said to myself that is so much pigmentation it's insane like that is out of this world pigmented so i'm definitely going to have to do a video on those and give them a try like a wee testing product video to see if it lives up to my standards because see to be honest i don't have high standards for makeup i always give every product the chance if i don't like it one time i'll try it again i've done that with the chroma cover luminous and i just couldn't get to like it because as i said i have extremely oily skin so my skin has to be matte all the time so it's quite pointless me having a um luminous foundation if i'm not going to be able to have the luminous feature to it if you know what i mean but i'm going to go mattify my skin Finish my makeup and then I'll be back because TikTok only allows for 10 minute videos and this clip alone is 6 minutes and 7 seconds so. I almost completely forgot to finish this video but makeup's done, hair's done, clothes is on and I hope you all have a nice safe and healthy Christmas.